All right, good afternoon everyone. Nandito po tayo sa Quest Hotel and we are with Deputy Commissioner Eric Castro for you know, more explanations about the safety protocol po uh, with uh, the suspected positive test inside the BBA bubble. Uh, Deputy Com, just, just the timeline. Um, the last we heard in terms of testing was that all the players, all, of all teams, all 12 teams, tested negative. And then after that, nagkaroon po po tayo ng second testing for the second batch of people to come in. At doon po natin na nalaman na merong isang suspected positive. Kailan po nangyari yung test na to? Well, upon entry, no, all the teams were tested. You're right. Uh, so that was September 28 and 29. And uh, the second cycle was done last October 14 and 15. So uh, all were uh, negative. And then we are just waiting for the results of uh, the second batch. Lahat ng entries na players. So Deputy Com, uh, there are about 350 people, uh, give or take, here inside the PBA bubble, at least from from the PBA family, the PBA group. Ilan na po sa kanila yung nag-undergo ng second swab test? Well, around 300 plus um, was uh, was done already. Um, we had our last uh, last test last Monday, and uh, all are negative. So we're just waiting for the test to be done tomorrow by the yeah by the uh, delegation being made in the So after the games po yesterday, dun po nalaman yung suspected uh, result. And then of course we all had safety protocols in place kung anong gagawin in the in the possibility that it could happen. What were the first steps that you took to ensure that everyone would be isolated already and, and immediately? Okay. You, you are correct. Uh, after the game ng Blackwater in Alaska last night, we were informed by CDC that uh, one of our game officials uh, was tested positive. So we immediately did uh, um, the, 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 the necessary uh, protocols na kailang contact tracing. So yung uh, crew who ran uh, the game last night, um, in isolate the net and, and then the referee uh, was extracted uh, earlier and uh, nasa ano na siya right now at this village. Okay. For the benefit po of those watching na uh, para mas malaman yung sistema natin ng referees, uh, there were 16 referees who entered the PBA bubble and you grouped them into two. Tama po ba? Well, uh, there are four groups, 16. So, we've uh, dinadala natin eight referees per game day. So, for those referees na, na may close contact yesterday, um, lahat ito naka-isolate muna um, with the roommates na kasama nila. So, may naiwan tayong walo yesterday dito sa hotel na siyang patatakbuhin natin today until uh, Sunday, most likely. Because all the close contact uh, and uh, will be tested on Saturday naman. So, everyone po, all of the referees who were in the venue yesterday, nakasama yung suspected positive case, will not be calling games from now until Sunday. Yes, just to be sure, dun muna tayo sa, ano, uh, i-isolate muna natin sila, then we observe. Then, again, uh, we'll test them on Saturday. How about po for the teams that actually played yesterday? Ano po yung protocol natin? Well, for Alaska and Blackwater, um, they'll be strictly monitored uh, by, the, by the CDC. So, the regular temperature checking and all will be done. Because um, as you, as you, as we all know that, yung bole yung pinaka ane nila, di ba? Pinaka yung kung kung bago yung contact nila. But uh, let me assure that uh, our balls are being disinfected. Every every chance na merong uh, letter ball, we ano uh, we uh, uh, tawag dito, we we change the balls. No? Are there additional testing po that we should be expecting from the people who were in close contact? Um, well, yes. Uh, ano natin na uh, ginagawa natin lahat ng possible na, na hakbang para ano natin, ma-assure natin. So for the referee po na na-extract na uh, I believe they, he, the, the person will be will be tested uh, this afternoon? Again, at 5 p.m. for an uh, confirmatory and uh, and then, if it comes out negative, uh, which we, we are offering for, may possibility po ba na mag-rejoin ng bubble? Or what um, are the protocols? Right? As advised by the CDC, uh, he will still uh, need to complete the 14 days ng quarantine. 
Tapos kung gano'n po karaming negative things kaya yung kailangan? I believe two negatives yung kailangan. Uh, For him to re-enter. Okay. Deputy Kong, just maybe th there are families of the players, there are fans who are worried about their family members inside the PBA bubble. Just uh, a quick message po sa kanila. Uh, well, let me reassure everyone, uh, especially all the families of the players, lahat ng nandito sa bubble, um, handa po tayo sa mga ganitong pangyayari. Uh, mag mahusay at maganda po ang uh, protocols na nailatag po ng CDC at ng PBA. Huwag po tayong mag-alala. Uh, everything is under control naman po. Alright, that is the latest from here inside the PBA bubble. Thank you for joining us. We will post updates as soon as we get them. Maraming salamat.